morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. We're in Carmen, Manitoba. Let's pick up some drainage tile, rolled up pipe. We've got the weasels thrown right beside me, so you know what that means. Diesel, how you doing, buddy? You ready to do some trucking? So a couple of weeks ago, we were going from here down to either Buxton, North Dakota or Wapton, North Dakota. Today I've got two loads coming out of here, they're pretty short ones. Uh, we're just taking one load over to Portage La Prairie in south central Manitoba, and we're taking the other one to Ridgeville, Manitoba, which I don't even know if I've heard of before. Ridgeville, Manitoba. Okay. Ah, oh, it's in south central Manitoba, uh, southeast Manitoba, close to the U.S. border. Okay, Southern Manitoba, south of Steinbeck, which will work out perfect because then when I'm done delivering that, I'll go home tonight. If everything works out perfect, it also depends where they want me tomorrow morning. I've got my big winter jacket on today. It's that time of year where it's a little bit too chilly for a sweater, but it's a little too warm for a winter parka. It's not a bad problem to have. It's that wonderful time of year when it's really easy to sleep. Because I need it cool when I sleep. If I'm too hot, can't sleep. If I'm too cold, can't sleep. This, mm, perfect. The temperature outside this morning is four degrees Celsius. So we're looking at just below 40 Fahrenheit, I'm guessing. Let's see what Google says. What is four degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Celsius is 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit. 39.2. Perfect. A little chilly, but uh, it's going to be a good day. Got the weasel with me. I've got a new mattress back there. You guys watched yesterday's vlog. I got a new mattress from Odyssey Truck Mattresses. Uh, wow. Life changing. It's one of those like super soft pillow top ones where it's almost hard to turn over because it's so soft. You know, you push your arm down. A push yourself over and it just sinks into the bed it's a good problem to have because you just I just I felt like I was sleeping on a cloud all night it was amazing it's nice having a new mattress it's a little shorter than my old mattress we can talk about it more later once the sun comes up but it fits in here just nice a little wider a little shorter the measurements didn't come out just right but it works just fine I like it they should get to loading me very soon here now. They're just getting into work. I slept here, so I'm ready to go. Got all my equipment ready on the trailer. Let's do this. Now that the sun's up and we're loaded, a little bit different than uh, any of those black ones that we hauled last time, right? This one's got this, uh, this covering on it. Maybe someone in the comment section can tell me what that what that does or what it's for and why these ones have it and those ones don't I don't know but what I do know is that I'm loaded up I have a, a triaxle just in case you never know how heavy these things might end up being triaxle was the last step deck left in the yard last night and I, I needed a step deck for this load so I grabbed the triaxle Maybe tomorrow we'll get a heavy reload, I don't know. We're pulling two of these today. This first one's actually going to Ridgeville, Manitoba. We're gonna do it opposite from what we had thought before. And we're coming back for another load like this, which is going to Portage La Prairie. And then we'll see where we're going from there. 
Weasel, you're not on your throne, man. One second here, one second. My big jacket back there is taking up all the space. Sorry, bud. There you go. There you go. Much more space. Much more space for a weasel to stretch out. Good boy. Ah, and I still need to get new seat covers. I keep forgetting. That looks terrible, doesn't it? Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Stop it. You saw nothing. Is my water hot yet? I'm trying to make some coffee here. Hot enough, yep. Hot enough. I bought the wrong size cups this week by accident. No, you want a baby cups. So now I have to make like three of these every morning. Making life hard on myself. There we go. Oh, that's the good stuff. Right up to the top. Put that down. Careful, careful. All right. Grab the lid. Put the lid on that there and bada bing, bada boom. We're ready to rock. Hey, Diesel, what's wrong? You don't like your throne that I built for you? Look at this nice plush blanket. Nice and soft. Ah, great. Street sweeper right at the intersection. Gonna have to wait behind it. Diesel, come here. Come check it out. Come see Carmen. Come here. Come here, bud. Come on, help me navigate, man. I don't want to get lost. Good boy. Good boy. You tell me which way to go, okay? Okay, man, we're gonna go left. We're gonna go left at the stop sign. I think he's gonna do a U-turn and come right back here. Yep. I wish I had a broom like that for my shop. That'd be nice. Oh, oh, sneaky, sneaky. I was at the at the driveway first, man. You were supposed to wait for me. I came up to the road first. That's how it works, right? Oh well, doesn't matter. Alright, so I'm gonna go down south, uh, down highway, what is this, 3? No, 12, 13, highway 13, all the way to highway 14, which runs east-west, that's the highway that goes through Morden Winkler, been on that road quite a bit the last couple of months. I would take 23 across, that leads to Morris, but that road is in really bad shape, and uh, I'm trying to be nicer to Old Blue after taking her down 280 up north last week take her down the better highway though the 14 is getting in pretty bad disrepair as well but look at that diesel look at that what a nice old town man look at this look at that what's this what's that very nice very it's got pharmacy very nice got chinese west of course they got a chinese restaurant diesel every town everywhere has a chinese restaurant i love chinese food Oh, what they doing here? Oh my goodness, they're building a building. Heh, <laughs> get it? It's a bowling alley. Looks like a fun town, eh, Diesel? Very nice, very nice. Sneak our way through here. Oh, what's that smell? It's fresh asphalt. I know, right? Hits you right in the face. I like that smell though. Whoops. There we 
we go. Oh, yeah. Let them sing. There they go. It's wonderful harmonies between the turbo and the pipes, the hum of the tires. It's, just, it's like a symphony orchestra. Nothing better first thing in the morning. The smell of diesel fuel, I love it. Oh, we got some action over here. What's this, a fire truck? Look, over here on the left. Diesel, look. Fire truck. It's exciting, right? What are they doing over here? Just hanging out. Ah. Must just be testing it. Diesel, this is just our luck. Delivery down a gravel road. Oh well. Got Google bringing us straight to the farm. I think it's a farm anyways, maybe it's an open field. It's about a mile and a half east at the next mile road. It's all right, Diesel, don't worry about it. Diesel really doesn't like gravel roads. Makes him nervous for some reason. Man, you're going to ding up your nice truck, man. She's terrible. You going to walk all over the place. You can walk, get stuck in your tires. And you can throw it out to other people. In 400 meters, turn left onto road three north. 
right, Captain. This is going to be a tight corner. So just down there. That's where we're delivering to. Take the next left onto Road 3 North. Yes, 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 I heard you. Yeesh. Yeah, that's a narrow. Ah, oh, we can make it, no problem. Continue on Road 3 North for three kilometers. Or two miles. Oh, of course, we gotta meet a farmer yet, too. Eh? This is gonna be fun. We are on the farm roads, you know? Highway tractors belong on the highway. We're now on the farmer territory. The US border is just like five miles that way. Oh, we don't gotta pass the tractor after all. He's going down that way. We're very close to the border with uh, North Dakota right there. Actually, sorry, we're on the east side of the Red River. That's the border with Minnesota right there. There he goes, his one bale. I wonder where he's taking that thing. Those big piles of manure over there, Diesel. Whole bunch of politicians sitting over there. In 500 meters, your destination will be on the left. 10 4. We're here, Diesel. And these guys are laying the drainage pipe in here you can see how they dig a groove in the field all the way down and then they lay the pipe or the whatever you want to call it in there the drainage tile and then it drains the whole field of of water or it helps with it a lot I, I believe that's what it does so I pulled myself right onto the field and we're gonna unload them right here I'm gonna roll them right off the back put them on the ground and then try and get out of here. That entrance way there was a little bit small. Hopefully I won't have a problem getting out, but I could just barely, barely scoot my trailer through there. Just getting all my straps off now. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's put you guys down over here and see if I can push these off the back.
lot easier. We'll unload the rest of this thing. Might take a little while longer, but uh, a lot easier. I'd be driving John Deere's too. Guys, you're complimented my truck. They're now my friends. That was nice. So they helped me unload. <laughs> As you can see how struggling. It's not that the, it's hard to roll them, is that when they're on the deck for a while, they settle and they create that flat spot on the bottom and it's hard to get it off that flat spot. But once you get it rolling, it goes. Uh, they just did the rest with the tractor. Much easier. You saw I knocked it over on its side. It's not supposed to be like that. They can fix it with their tractor and put it back upright, but. <laughs> Oops. It's gonna be a little difficult for me to get out of here. So, uh, should be fun. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here. going to be very interesting. That driveway is very narrow and I could just barely squeak in here. So my rule of thumb is if I can get in somewhere, I can back out. If I can drive in, I can back out. It is possible. trailer that way because I want to go driver's side out right I don't want to blindside it onto that narrow road and we'll just go around the mile road because so I would like to go that way but it's just better easier and safer to not blindside out of here If I can do this in one shot, I don't know if I'll be able to. Gotta hug this side like crazy. The car's coming. I don't want to put it in the ditch. I guess I could go in here, back in there, and then go this way. That way it's less gravel road. But then again, there's a mile, so there'll be a mile gravel road that way and a mile that way. 
going back there'd be a mile this way and a mile that way so either way there's a mile two miles of gravel road tight but okay but the thing is I know this gravel road because I've already gone down it right so I'm gonna go back down that same gravel road because I don't know this might be a mud road up there I'm not familiar with this uh, this area here so the way I'm gonna turn around is I'm gonna pull in here stop and back up back the other way. Turn right. I'm going to put my trailer as far to that side as I can because I'm going to need to take this wide around this corner here, right? It's a good thing these are farm roads and there's only like one or two people that drive down here per day and I'm one of them. Go back this way. These are uh, what we call grid roads or access roads, farm roads. The only reason they're here is for farmers to use to uh, access their fields and to get to their homes, obviously, because they live out here too. But we're getting dusty today. how narrow this access driveway was that I backed out of here. Right there. <laughs> and that's them laying the pipe into the ground there. There's a lot that goes into farming. I don't think the average person realizes. I don't think I even realize it, and I grew up in a farming region. I don't think uh, any of us really realize how smart farmers are and how much education you need nowadays. Like I got uh, family like, that are farmers, oh, extended family anyways, and friends that are farmers, Like, and they go to school, they go to university. You know, it's not just putting seeds in the ground and watering it, hoping it rains. There's a lot that goes into it, a lot of science. I think people who live in dense urban areas and like in cities probably, you know, have no idea and I don't blame them. You live in an urban jungle, how would you know how these farms work? definitely a completely different lifestyle. I grew up in a family of truckers. This is my life. And I try to show you the best I can. Oh, there's those politicians again. Big piles of manure. That's their, uh, that's their, uh, their speech. For next time they're on the air. Right, Diesel? Not all politicians, let's say. There's some really good politicians out there. There are. Just, it seems like a, a lot of them dump a whole pile of that stuff all over the place. Different topic for a different time. I try to show you the best I can what my life as a truck driver is. This is all I've ever wanted to do. This is my dream and I love sharing it with you. So those of you who don't drive trucks and aren't around any people who drive trucks, maybe this is the only view into the lifestyle that you have and in that case I want to remind you that I'm just one of millions of truckers so my life story and my trucking life story here is unique to me there's a lot of other people who have completely different experiences but I can only show you life through through my eyes right I got ourselves some action a whole bunch of flashy lights Somebody rolled it over. 
over around this corner. Either not paying attention or going way too fast. These guys are flashing their headlights at me like I don't see all the flashing lights. <laughs> Did you see that? This guy right there, thanks bud. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, I can see the flashing lights there. Oh, here comes the cops. Somebody. Somebody getting pulled over? Got a slow sign here. Yeah, that cop behind me, you know that pickup truck that was flashing his lights at me to let me know there was something ahead, even though I could see all these flashing lights? That guy got pulled over. I wonder why. Maybe he went through the stop sign here or something. Look at this. Right behind this first wrecker that's facing us, that's where the truck is. Laying on its side. The truck just got tired. Definitely a new way of trucking. I'll tell you that much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sign said slow. Sign said slow. I'm going. Is this slow enough? What a mess. Oh, there's another guy in there. Give him some extra space. There we go. Oh, that's an expensive, that's an expensive rescue. Can you imagine? How many wreckers were there? The two big ones at least, right? Plus that, uh, no, three big ones. Plus that uh, supply truck that we just passed. There's those four, and then all of the support crew that's there yet. I bet you, I don't, I don't drive tow trucks for a living, but I bet you anything that cost between six and ten thousand dollars. That's my best guess. Somebody, who knows what they're talking about? Go down to my comment section. What's a good estimate of what that would have cost? here we're lined up well we're parked we're the only one in line but load up some more of these in the morning we're taking a load of these to Dauphin Manitoba from here which is in western Manitoba and then we'll see I made myself available to work over the weekend to make up for uh, when my truck was in the shop earlier this week We'll see what they come up with. Maybe uh, maybe I'll be working this weekend, maybe I won't be. We'll see, we got nothing going on at home this weekend, so they got something for me. I'm available, we'll see.